You said you feel like you can't spin? Yeah, but I think that was me. I think I was like, I could be more hollow. I'm gonna try to be fast and low and awesome. Does it look like the time right now? Yes, it does. Okay. See, Avery's getting in it. <laughs> I know. How'd you do that? Okay, Avery. Because Avery promised not to yes. yell at me this year, so now she dances with me. <laughs> That's how Avery gets her anger out for dance. Yeah, I do. <laughs> dance it out. Like, oh. I'm happy again. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, seven. One. No. <laughs> Can we just try one more normal front handspring? Just to get that height back. Normal front handspring? Yeah. Open gym is pretty vital to our season. It's where groups go in and we find the timing that we can't spend as much time on at practice. So it's where you things finally click and you get like those harder skills that you're aiming towards. One, two, three, four, five, seven, one. <laughs> See, because that one's not even good now. I feel like that's exactly what the spinning one looks like. I mean, the open gym is really helpful for us because, well, for all groups, but especially us since we're a new group, so we haven't got to work that much together yet. So it's helpful that we get to have this facility to practice and get better together and understand each other's technique and stuff. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, seven, one. Ugh. One, two. Still not the same height though. <laughs> better. <laughs> Open gyms are a good opportunity to just get reps with your stun group at practice. It's more structured practice. And at open gyms, we can just do a lot more stunting and watching videos of, of each other, trying to figure out like what we should do to make the stun better and to bond with your stunt group. <laughs> Me too. And then I don't remember what works, so I'm just like... I know, we just need to calm down. I think we're overthinking everything now. Because we hit good ones when we first started. Yeah. One open gym, my stunt group, my second year came in and we were doing... We were just getting like the front handspring up consistent and it was getting pretty easy for us. So we decided to take it a step up and try front one and a half. So we just spent like a couple hours in here just going over and over and over again and eventually we finally hit the front one and a half and at the time no one on all girl was doing them and from my knowledge no one had done one on all girl before but i could be wrong but it was just like such like a surreal experience just getting like such a hard skill like that and it felt like insane one two three four five seven one yes oh, good job there one, we two. go Sorry. I still hate it. I still hate it. I don't <laughs> get me wrong. I still we don't like the skill. <laughs> Three. Yeah. So I've been working with Avery and Sammy, I think since June practices, but I just got Haley in our group, and so we're really just working on timing and getting our reps in, trying to make sure that our timing is good because before I was with Zarya, so it's a lot different with a different back spot. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One. No, no, no. Oh, Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're working on the front handspring one and a half. I personally struggle with these like the most out of every skill. They were my least favorite skill. So we're trying to get those consistent just by starting with the front handspring up and then working our way to the front one and a half. They were going okay today, but we still have to work on each other's timing. Three, four, five. Seven. One. Yeah. Yes. One, two. Yeah. That was a good one. Front hand to the front more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm Sammy Fisher. I'm a fourth year side base and I cheer on USF All Girl. My name is Haley Apostoloff. Um, I've been cheering for, I think, 15 years now. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm a back spot on the team. My name is Michaela Johnson and I'm a flyer on the University of South Florida all-girl cheer team.